I personally climb because I'm curious. I'm curious to find out what I am truly capable of in a beautiful yet sometimes dangerous and frightening environment. A week after the Everest climb, I came down with a very rare nerve disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome. I went through six months in hospital, most of the time paralyzed from eyes down. We look at what are you really good at doing? What am I really bad at doing? And then we find a way to work together so the mountain doesn't mercilessly beat us into submission. Think about what elements you need to change in today's situation so that you can better cope with tomorrow's situations. That's what you need to think about doing. How can we change aspects of what we're doing so that we can be more relevant in the future moving forward? We like to see the manifestation of success like standing on top of the summit after planning and training for years or months. But if you think about it, it's only the end result. Are some of the greatest lessons I've learned from climbing the great mountains in the world and you'll be in that session with me. Can we climb that same mountain? Can we do the same thing we're doing but in a different, better, more effective way?